All right, welcome back to another episode. This is a big one. This is one I've been really looking forward to. Ah, it's been a big week. We got the Mark Johnsons. We saw that the Rally XLT is coming out and the Chad Muska reissue. Because of that, I brought out Chad Muska's Reader's Poll Transworld 1999 cover. Just wanted to share that with you. Super cool. It's hard to actually talk about um, the impact Chad had on skateboarding if you weren't there, but it was kind of like one minute, it was like all zero. And the next minute you're getting beaten over the head because shorties had arrived and Chad Musco was here. He was killing it. He was everywhere. And if you want a taste of that, look up a video called Video Radio. And they talk about um, Chad's impact when they went on this big tour. I loved Fulfill the Dream. I thought that was like one of the best skate videos I had ever seen. Then right after that was Transworld Feedback. Um, another killer video. Go watch it. And yeah, when you're done watching it, come back, like, and subscribe because I told you to go watch Transworld Feedback. So one of the clips in Transworld Feedback, Chad Musket is wearing his first S shoe and it's the gray and blue. And I'm going to get up close so you can see it. Look at that. 50-50. I think you can kind of see the shoes right there. Gray and blue. Man, so sick. All right, without further ado, we have it, people. The Chad Muska S reissue, gray and blue. Let's check it out. Whoa, pow. There it is. Look at that shoe. I honestly like didn't think I'd ever see these in person. I had the black and red ones when I was a kid and um, they were so rad for skating then. The gray and blue, so sick. I mean, you got like the lace loops, you got this lace lock, this is new. Of course, you got the stash pocket underneath. You know, everyone was hiding. Well, I've got to tell you what everyone was hiding. Right, we all know what everyone was hiding. Bubble gum. And then we got the big S, gray S on the bottom with the white. We got the heel pull on the back. This is a great touch. Classic Muska silhouette on the insole. Wow. Man, they really spared no expense on these. Just really excited to have these gray and blue ones. And I, I honestly like didn't think I would be able to get a hold of a pair. We got the blue and gray mesh. We got the white in midsole right here. Just like an overall great looking shoe. Rubber toe cap with the seams going down to kind of look like a shell toe. It would have been really cool though to have the black and red ones because um, those are the ones I had when I was a kid. But enough about the wish I had because I do have the gray and blue. Let's check them out on the feet. Top down, they look good. You got that gray and blue. It's got the lace loops. It's got the little shell toe accents, rubber toe, little ollie pad right there. Yeah, so that's the gray and blue. I wish I could have got the red and black, but the gray and blue are just as good. I, um, I'm happy to get any pair. Every time I go to film, someone knocks at the door and bothers me. Who is it? <gasps> it can't be. It looks just like me. 25 years ago? <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> oh! Here comes Eddie with the sweaty old ranky farts. <laughs> Here, Eddie, do a trick! Do something, Eddie! No! Very good. Red and black muskas? Wait, come back! Psst. 
Couldn't catch him. Who was that? Was it actually me from 25 years ago? Dropping off red and black muskas? Dream fulfilled. If you recognize where we're at, then you know that Chad Muska Ollie these have fulfilled the dream. It's a 10 flat 10 flat 12. It's really big and um, pretty incredible that he was able to pull that off. Um, especially because if you look at the ground, there's like really not that much landing here. Well, since we're here at the Long Beach Convention Center, I thought you'd want to see it from the top. He ollied it, ollied it, ollied it, and at the last shot, the bus comes through and you can see him through the windows. So sick. Man, I still can't believe it. Past Eddie coming through, dropping off the red and black muskets. What a time to be alive. Time travel, right? Who would have thought? We got Dodger Dog here supervising the unboxing. This is a, this is a great moment. This is something that I, I'm pretty stoked on. The red and black muskas. Um, this is the shoe I had when I was a kid and this box is what I used to keep all my skate stuff in. Let's see what we got going on here. What? We got the muska paper and another muska cover. Transworld October 1997. Muska lip slide. White hubba in an apartment building. You can actually see the clip of this in Fulfill the Dream. Uh, yeah, Transworld Feedback, Fulfill the Dream. Thank me later, like and subscribe. Ooh. Now this is a time machine. Look at that. I think just because Musco is so iconic, he was just on top of the world. This is the shoe that, like when I look at this, this reminds me of my childhood. You know I had to do it. I had to put them on and go get a Muska frontside flip. One of my favorite things about this shoe, this like big S on the bottom. This guy, I mean, look at that. You know, the reason it's one of my favorite things is because you would see clips of, of Chad Muska, like he would be doing tricks and like shot with a fish eye or something, right? And he'd do like one of his front side flips. He does one in feedback over like a no parking structure sign. And you can see the bottom of the shoe. It's this big S symbol. It just looks so cool. And there's just like no denying how, how much of an impact he had on skateboarding and how much of an impact these shoes had on skateboarding. And I went out and did a frontside flip in them, and um, it felt good to do the frontside flip in them. I'll say this, they're as bulky on your feet as about the XL OG is, um, but the sole feels a little bit more stiff than the XL OG. So it might take a little bit longer to break them in, but they definitely feel like you could be skating in them. Um, if you're just buying them to like wear around, the only bad thing about it is you like constantly wanna look down at your foot just to see this shoe. So it's just one hell of a week, but these are, these are the ones, these are the special ones. I'd say these um, are the ones that capture my imagination and remind me like what it's like to be a kid. Thanks past Eddie, you made my day. So you know what? Life is good and I hope you're out there skating. I hope you're learning new stuff and I hope you're taking care of yourself. Um, like and subscribe and until next time, this is Adrian. This is the Xperience 2000. Oh, the nose. Oh, oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the best in the world. Stop recording!